What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I first off want to apologize for not posting a video in two weeks. I feel like I was on such a roll and that is because I filmed an Instant Pot video and I lost the footage. I think I accidentally deleted it and losing footage is like the worst thing that could happen. While I refilm that video, in the meantime, I thought it would be fun and easy just to go to Trader Joe's and show you guys all my favorite vegan products from there. I am a huge fan of Trader Joe's. I like to get a lot of staples from there because of the low prices. So yeah, I'm just gonna take you guys with me and show you all of my favorite things. If you guys are new here, welcome to my channel. I post vegan videos and recipes, so make sure you guys subscribe if you are new and turn on your notification bell. I'm trying to post on Tuesdays and Saturdays, but sometimes I just, you know, don't. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up before you leave. It really helps out my channel and helps like share this video to more people the more likes it gets. So that would really help me out if you give it a big ol' thumbs up. And uh, yeah, let's just head on over to Trader Joe's. I'm gonna show you all of my favorite items that I like to get from there. Trader Joe's has a ton of vegan products now. I'm not gonna be going over all of them because there are so many. This video is mostly gonna be like my absolute favorite staples that I like to buy on a regular basis. I also wanted to mention I am wearing a different outfit in some of these clips because I filmed some of these ahead of time. So if you notice that, that is why. So welcome to Trader Joe's in Southern California. Let's head on inside and I'll show you guys all my favorite items I like to stock up on. So I'm just gonna skip right on over the produce section. I like to get most of my produce from Sprout so that I can get it packaged free. They do have some super convenient items here, but for this video I'm just gonna skip on over it and head right to the uh, vegan meat aisle. <laughs> this beefless ground beef is one of my favorite things I like to stock up on at Trader Joe's. It is a really good price compared to other like mock meats. It is only $2.99 and I really like it because it doesn't have a lot of oil or fat in it compared to other vegan meats. I feel like they have a lot of like canola oil in them and I like to keep about like three of these in my freezer or fridge at once and use it in recipes. As you guys might already know, I absolutely am obsessed with tofu. It is one of my favorite foods. I particularly like the high protein tofu that they have for $2.49. It has a lot of protein in it and what I like most about it is it doesn't crumble apart in recipes. I always stock up on this organic firm tofu for $1.79. I really like the texture of this tofu. It's really smooth. I don't know how to explain it. I don't like any other hummus at Trader Joe's except this one. I don't know all the other ones have like a weird aftertaste to me. But this one is oil free, which I really like. And the ingredients are really simple and it's just so delicious. Another dip that I really like from Trader Joe's is this kale pesto. I went through a phase of eating this like every single day on toast for breakfast. It sounds kind of weird, but it's really delicious. I kind of stopped buying it actually because it is like $4 for this like little eight ounce container. Trader Joe's used to carry my favorite vegan mozzarella cheese shreds. They were my go-to cheese I would put in all my recipes and they melt the best out of any cheese that I've tried. They stopped carrying it as of like three months ago and I am so upset. <sighs> I really hope that they restock it. But yeah, Trader Joe's will just randomly like discontinue items. Okay, the next department is the nut and dried fruit aisle. I absolutely love to get dried fruit from Trader Joe's. A lot of their dried fruit doesn't have any sugar added. It's just like nothing but the fruit, which is awesome. I'm gonna pick up some of this dried baby pineapple because it is delicious. If I'm ever needing some dried fruit, I always go to Trader Joe's. I really love the apple rings and the apricots and the dried mango. They all don't have any sugar added and it's all pretty reasonably priced. Nuts are another thing I always buy from Trader Joe's because it is the lowest price compared to any grocery store around me. As you guys already know, I love these raw sunflower seeds to use in recipes because they are allergen friendly and you can blend them up into a creamy sauce. So I always make sure I have a few of these on hand. They're only $2.29, which is a really good price compared to other nuts. I also make sure I'm stocked up on like walnuts, a really good price at Trader Joe's, cashews, almonds. They're all the best price at Trader Joe's. So I love the nut aisle. So next I'm going down like the vitamins slash skincare aisle. This is kind of random, but this detergent is really gentle. doesn't have any dyes in it. It's like very lightly fragranced. Like it's not too strong. It has like a tea tree scent, I think. So yeah, I always buy that. Oh my God, what am I? all-time favorite purchases from Trader Joe's is this lavender soap. It smells so unbelievably amazing. I could just sit there and smell it all day. Well, I actually, fun fact, like hate 
fragrance i really i don't like any perfume or like shampoo with fragrance or lotion with fragrance it really like gives me a headache and makes my skin break out in eczema but this soap is the one exception it smells so good you guys should all go to trader joe's and smell it the one thing that i love about trader joe's skincare products is they are all not tested on animals which is amazing it's actually pretty hard to find cruelty free products that work well and don't have fragrance well, it, besides the soap, because it is very fragrant. I really love this face lotion from Trader Joe's. It is oil-free, super lightweight, but works really well. Doesn't have any fragrance in it. Um, I watch a YouTuber called Dr. Dre. She is a vegan, like, dermatologist. Well, she's a dermatologist who just, like, happens to be vegan. And she actually recommended this. Yeah, the no fragrance is, like, a big thing in skincare. So I really like that lotion. And I also really like this face wash. Dr. Dre also recommended it in one of her videos and it is very gentle. It doesn't like leave your face feeling stripped afterwards. And once again, it is cruelty free, which is a huge win. I always make sure I have this jojoba oil on me. I use it every single day to take off my makeup. I also started buying this Trader Joe's A Midsummer Night's Moisturizing Cream. It is once again, really gentle. It does have like a slight herby fragrance to it, but it is, it's not too like overpowering or like perfumey. And it works really well. It actually helped me clear my eczema on my hand a lot. That's just about it for skincare. I haven't really tried much else, but those are just my favorites. Okay, I have two absolute staples that I always buy from Trader Joe's for spices. I always buy this 21 Salute seasoning. It is a no salt seasoning, but it has so much flavor in it and I really like it. And I also love this onion salt. Even though it says onion salt, it has pretty low sodium. So I really like to add that to my recipes. And this chicken less seasoning is a new item. They actually came out with this like this past month, I think. And I recently tried it and it is really good. So I will be repurchasing that. I always make sure I have the soyaki sauce stocked up in my fridge. It adds a ton of flavor to recipes. And I feel like the ingredients aren't that bad. And it is vegan. So I really like to have that on hand. Okay, this Carolina Gold barbecue sauce is the best barbecue sauce I've ever had. It is crack cocaine barbecue sauce in a bottle. I actually don't buy this all the time because it is like 100% sugar, <laughs> which is what is what makes it so good, but it is delicious. You guys should try it out. Another thing that I always make sure I have stocked up in my pantry is Trader Joe's brown rice pasta. It is one of my favorite pastas to buy. It is gluten-free, only $1.99, and it doesn't like crumble apart like a lot of other gluten-free pastas do. It holds up really nicely in recipes. I also absolutely love this lentil pasta, but it is more expensive and you get four ounces less than the other brown rice pasta. So yeah, it's not really a good deal, but it is really healthy and has a lot of protein. My favorite marinara sauces like of all time are from Trader Joe's. I love the just basic uh, marinara sauce for $1.79. It has a ton of flavor in it. And if I'm trying to be like low sodium, I love the no salt added organic marinara sauce. It is pretty good even though it is no salt added. I'm absolutely obsessed with this goddess dressing lately. It is really good and it is vegan. It does have a lot of oil so if you guys are trying to be oil free like obviously you wouldn't like this but I think it is so delicious as like just an easy go-to vegan dressing. So I am obsessed with olives. It's like one of my favorite foods. Trader Joe's has an amazing olive selection. I love these colossal olives stuffed with garlic. They are so good. I love the Kalamata olives. Kalamata. I don't know how to say that word. 10 out of 10 olive selection. Another thing I always go to Trader Joe's for is their frozen produce section. Frozen veggies, if you guys didn't know, are like just as healthy as fresh because they are picked in season and then frozen and they are so easy to throw together for like a quick lazy dinner. Some of my favorites I always have stocked up on are the frozen peas. They are only $1.59 and I just like really love peas. And I also always have at least like four bags of broccoli on hand. Trader Joe's has like a ton of frozen delicious pre-made meals, but I don't really buy them that much. So I'm just gonna kind of bypass the rest of the frozen aisle. Oh my God, actually, wait, these frozen meatballs are so good. I buy these all the time. They hold together really well and uh, yeah, I really like them. Frozen fruit is another thing I always stock up on at Trader Joe's. I like the blueberries, mangoes, pineapples. Um, it's all like a pretty reasonable price and I like to add frozen fruits and smoothies. Like I was saying, I don't buy much other frozen meals from Trader Joe's, but these black bean and corn enchiladas are so 
good. The ingredients are really like simple. It doesn't have any like bad ingredients in there. It's all organic. I really like these if you're like in a pinch, but they um, are very filling. So I don't buy them all the time, but this is one of my favorite pre-made meals from Trader Joe's. As you guys know, I always use the Trader Joe's organic unsweetened soy beverage, non-dairy milk in all my recipes. It is $1.79 for a quart. And the only ingredients are soybeans and water and it just works really well in recipes like it has a very mild flavor whereas like other vegan milks um have like a hint of vanilla or they're like kind of watery i really love this soy milk from trader joe's another absolute favorite of mine is this soy creamer i also like this um, coconut creamer they don't always have this in stock so when they do i pick up like three of them at a time and I asked the one of the workers why they don't like have this in stock a lot and she said it's because like people love it so much that they will just buy out like a whole row of it. So anytime they have this, I always buy at least three of them because they don't have it all the time. This Miyoko's vegan butter is like the best vegan butter in my opinion. It is so good and uh, Trader Joe's started carrying it like last year, I think. And uh, yeah, they have a ton of other like non-dairy milks. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite non-dairy milk from Trader Joe's is. They have so many to choose from. Okay, can you go to Trader Joe's without picking up some two buck chuck? I used to be like $2.99 chuck and now is back to $1.99. Charles Shaw wine happens to be vegan, fun fact. My favorite is the Merlot or the Cab Sauv. Okay, heading over to the snack aisle. I don't really buy that many snacks. I'm not a big snacker, but some of my favorite things to get from Trader Joe's are the seaweed. I love to snack on the seaweed. And these blue corn tortilla chips are my favorite chips. They are so salty and for $2.99 you get two pounds. And yeah, that's about it for the snack department from me. I'm sorry, I don't have any other favorites to recommend you. I feel like also a lot of people love the chocolates from Trader Joe's and the other like junk foody, snacky candies. Mostly all these have milk in them. So yeah, they're not vegan, unfortunately. However, one of my favorite candies is these Scandinavian Swimmers. It's like a vegan gummy. It doesn't have any gelatin in them. So if I'm ever like wanting some candy, those are really good. Even though Trader Joe's doesn't have many chocolates that are vegan, they do have these semi-sweet chocolate chips, which I'll just like eat a handful at a time if I'm like craving some chocolate. It says may contain traces of milk, but that just means that it was shared on equipment. One of my favorite junk foods from Trader Joe's is these chocolatey cat cookies. They are so yummy. They are like accidentally vegan and they're just like a chocolate little cookie. I love to have these like as like a little treat. Trader Joe's has a really good selection of nut butters. I love the sunflower butter and the cashew butter. Yeah, I also like to buy this jelly from Trader Joe's. It is no sugar added and it is really good. So yeah, that is about it for this video. Those are all of my favorite Trader Joe's staple pantry items I like to stock up on. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know your favorite Trader Joe's items in the comments down below. Don't forget to uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.